Hey guys, today I am going to talk about MetaZoo. Is it interesting enough to take a flyer on this game? It's definitely interesting. Uh, the price point at one point in time was $10,000 for the Kickstarter first edition box. Basically their version of Pokemon Base first edition. Uh, it was promoted by people like Alpha Investment, Steve Aoki, Pay Money Wubby. Uh, and uh, Jeff Wilson. So in terms of who they got to promote this product, it's, you know, it's a list of the who's who, right? And when you look at it from the lens of like an investment opportunity, it's like a penny stock at this point in time. You know, people were paying this much money. I mean, these are from 2021, October, September. I mean, it's in less than three years, this product went from, let's call it $10,000 to $600, $700, uh, even less than $700 on eBay. So it's an apples to, in my opinion, it's an apples to apple comparison because I took one from eBay. I took the other from eBay. I think it's a fair comparison. I don't think there's anything wrong with comparing the two. So back to my initial kind of assessment as to why this is the case and what is going on here and why I would actually say right now um, I'm you know I'm interested I have looked into the data I've crunched the numbers I have done a lot of the information gathering if you will and maybe it's a flyer because it's so cheap it's now you might think oh it could get cheaper yeah <laughs> yeah Yes, uh, that is a possibility. Um, of course, it could go down to zero, right? It never really goes down to zero, but someone who collects dead card games, so there's two scenarios here. One, it just remains a dead card game. That's, in my opinion, the much more likely scenario. Two, which is a very interesting scenario, is that somebody like Steve Aoki or Jeff Wilson from Sports Card Investor buys it, and then suddenly it's not a dead card game. It's a living card game. And the reason that the living card game is so important is because then you're going to see new sets, new excitement. It gives value. You know, obviously, if Magic the Gathering died, the older cards would also lose value. The entire game would lose value. And we saw that from here where MetaZoo was announced it was dead. And then you saw a 80% collapse on most MetaZoo products. So could somebody like Jeff Wilson, could somebody like Steve Aoki or maybe combined using their combined knowledge of influencing and, and other good stuff, uh, could they save the card game? And if you do buy this box at 600, which there's actually multiple boxes right now, there's liquidity for the longest time there was no, because I guess people were just storing these items and hoping for the best and hoping that one day the item would be extremely valuable. But there is actually a very good argument to be made that if you buy this box for $700, what, what is your minimal? I mean, maybe it goes down to five. What's the bottom? The ceiling is very low at 700, but the, or sorry, the floor is very low at 700, but the ceiling could be massive. Again, one time, maybe this exact box sold for $10,000. And you have the you have the influencers in place. You have the people. and these, So they could have easily, Steve Aoki and Card Collector too, they could have easily said, oh, this is bad, this is good. No, they asked, or they could have easily said, um, it is not, they could have easily ignored it, right? Just like Alpha Investment is doing so. But instead, they spend the episode talking about it. They spent the episode promoting it. They spent the episode uh, even showing off the cool cards that you can get at Hero Quest. And I think that's pretty compelling to me, right? Um, I think that's very, very strange that they would, you know, would would you show off something, especially to the the platform that these guys have? if you didn't intend to actually promote it down the road and what would be better for Jeff Wilson than owning or, you know, he's got a kid. Why don't they own a card shop? In my opinion, right? They can just straight up own a card shop. Wouldn't that make more sense? I mean, it's not a card shop, a card game. 
and they can use their card shop to promote it. So it's fascinating to think about all the people involved in MetaZoo. They're still here, right? If there is another pump to do, they'll be back. I don't think anyone has any doubt that these people will be back. Um, even Alpha Investment, he will return if he believes he can make money from this product. And, and that's the nature of business, right? In a nutshell. If you can make money from the product, why not come back? So MetaZoo is in a very interesting state right now. I don't want to say buy it, but like what, what do you have to lose? It's already down, you know, let's say from 10,000 to 600. It's already down 700, it's down, down 90 plus percent. It's already down 90 plus percent. These singles are down even more. There are multiple slabs that PSA graded slabs that are less than the cost of grading. You know, like, so like, what do you really have to lose here? Like, what is the actual um, loss? Like, I think here your ceiling is very high. Your ceiling is the $10,000 mark because at one point it was there. The, the floor is very low. Now, you might say, oh, one time you kind of got a $100. Yeah, but that's no one's going to get. That's like an angel investor money type of deal, right? Or that's an alpha investment type of deal where only in hindsight, the Mike Waddell guy is starting to give like cases of free first edition Cryptid Nation. Uh, two things to point out here is when, I mean, what, what, why not? I mean, why not take a flyer if these things ever hit? 600 500 dollars a booster box what are you going to lose or even buying a few single cards the mothman kickstarter edition what can you really lose now if it takes off if it's like crypto i, I view this actually very similar to crypto expect to lose everything expect it to go to zero expect it to be no demand but should that little shit coin take off man you look smart I mean, even the influencer, so an influencer as myself, a small time influencer, like, wow, I would look smart if somehow MetaZoo took off. And I'm not even like 10,000, even if we could get to like 2,000, you know, that thing would be, didn't you seem like a genius, right? And here's what I can tell you all the uh, Argos, you know, if you go on eBay right now, it's all Argos and like sneak out and catch some collectibles, these partners of MetaZoo. They're desperate to sell out of their position. Like they're, they're selling boxes for $20, $15, $10 a booster box. Now you do pay shipping. I understand that's controversial. Or yes, you have to pay for shipping for things, I know, and tax and stuff. But what is the real danger of buying a box for $10, $20? Like what, what can you, I mean, $20, we're ordering uh, Uber Eats right now, Shushi. And it's like $41, $42 for like a dinner. For that price, you could probably get like four or five MetaZoo boxes, right? So what, what's the danger of buying a box at that price point? Just eat one less uh, Uber Eats, right? Kidding, kidding. Anyway, guys.